I decided to join boys volleyball because I was a part of one of the first boys volleyball travel teams in around the uh, Niceville, Fort Wallen Beach area. It was called Niceville Sharks. And we had a pretty decent season. I got a lot of playing time and I got some uh, really good experience, you know, playing and some meeting some new people. So when I heard that we would have our first ever boys volleyball team at Choctaw, I wanted to join and be a part of that. I started this year going into many new clubs because I wanted to try many things. So I'm kind of glad that I got to get in an early position and student to student. It helped me kind of connect with everyone. It was a very fun club that I got to help with transitioning military students into Choctaw. Uh, I got to meet all new people, help get into the atmosphere. And it was just a very enticing experience for me and hopefully everyone else in the club. My experience was very fun. I actually came in a little bit later than everybody else. Um, they were, I was afraid of being in Choctaw because I was in Crestview Band, so I was a little bit skittish. But then um, when, I got, when I actually got to practice, the first day of practice, um, they were actually very sweet to me and welcomed me with open arms and were very, very sweet to me. I wanted to join weightlifting because my friend had told me about it last year and I, I wanted to do it, but I was new last year, so I, don't really had, I didn't really have time for it. And then I did this year. And it was really fun. I really loved all the people. It was hard, but I, I loved it. And I loved the competitions. I loved the meets. I love, I, do, I just love everything about it. And I like working out, so I really enjoyed it. So growing up, I played baseball my whole life. And coming to Choctaw, coming to a high school, I just wanted to play baseball again. Our season was all right. We had ups and downs, but overall, we did pretty good. I played soccer when I was in middle school, so I wanted to play soccer when I got to high school. I did cheer because I've done cheer since I was really little, and coming to Choctaw and watching pipe rods and football games because my brother really inspired me. So I decided to join ROTC because my mom graduated from Choctaw, and I was like, you know, if she could do ROTC, so could I. So how hard could it be? This year, I ended up as the commander of the whole force, so I was in charge of about 230 kids. It was really hectic, but I mean, it was a really good experience, and I'm glad I did it. I've been part of SGA for two years. This year, I was the vice president, and I learned a lot about event planning as homecoming was really hectic, but I learned a lot about how to handle situations like that, and I had a great time. I decided to join track because I've always had a passion for running and it gives me a feeling of accomplishment and to always do my best and to always push when things hurt. I decided to do band because I've been drumming since I was four years old and I've just always had a passion for music. In middle school I did band and I figured why not continue it and possibly earn a music scholarship in college. So for state, I think we won because we definitely came together as a team through the good and the bad, which we also had two people who couldn't compete with us for state, so we had to recruit two new people. So that was very hard, which we only had a week to prepare for. It was just super rewarding since we went through so much and we just proved to others what we can do. Um, I joined track because it was a fun community. Um, my sister did it, so I kind of like forced the habit followed what she did, but I realized how much my heart was truly in it. Um, the people I met and the relationships and bonds that I made really kept me into the sport and helped me improve as an athlete. I joined track. I actually started with fifth grade because my older brother, Adrian, wanted to follow in his footsteps. When I got to high school, it was just my dream to continue running. And then when I started meeting everyone for the first time over the summer, I felt like the book was going to be I just love the relationships that I've gone through. I decided to run track because I want to stay in shape for football. And I also like track, like watching the Olympics and stuff, not always interested me. So I wanted to join the track team. I just didn't decide to join weightlifting. I was forced into weightlifting uh, by my coaches and parents. Like I said, my junior year, and then I ended up getting third in state uh, last year. So I decided to continue because I knew I was going to win this year. Um, I've just been playing soccer my whole life since I was three years old, and so like I had a passion to play college, high school was the next step for that. So I wanted to make a lot of friends. It's amazing. It's just like a special experience. My high school soccer, the competitive nature of it, and everything. So that's why. 
I started playing volleyball because my sisters played when I was growing up. Um, and when they offered it here at the uh, high school, I just thought it would be fun. I participated in RTC for a year and a half. I got to meet like a lot more people in that class. And I also participated in uh, WGI for a year, uh, my senior year. I was the class president of Choctaw for four years. I was the director of WBGI for two years, but I spent four years in the program. I was on Hope Squad as well, and I also was on the Okaloosa Youth Council along with Link Crew and the Multicultural Club. My ninth grade year, the whole COVID time, I did audition for uh, Magicals, which is a more advanced course group. I got to that, and I'm currently, this my, I'm currently, I'm currently in my third year doing it. Well, I wanted to join FCA because um, I recently, well, like as of 11th grade, I like found God and I realized I wanted Jesus, or I realized that Jesus was my Savior and that He is the reason that I will get to heaven. And just having God in my life has given me so much more peace. And when you go to F FCA, obviously there's like, everyone is like believers of Christ. You know, it's, it even says in the Bible, don't forsake the gathering. And... Every time I do go, it's just, it uplifts my spirit. You know, it helps me spiritually, being able to talk about like my passion, you know, my love for Christ for other people, and other people feel the same way. Um, during my time at Choctaw, I got involved in the STEP team, and I also got involved in the Multicultural Club. I joined the STEP team because I have a best friend, and we wanted to be something like they dance, but not like dance team, so we joined the STEP team. And then I got involved in the Multicultural Club because the greatest action is to be involved in it. I didn't get involved in anything. <laughs> There's got to be a lot of those. Um, probably, I'm just going to go back to freshman year. Just uh, making Miss Kessler mad. Me, Garrett, AJ, and Amias. Well, Amias doesn't even go here anymore. Uh, she'd always get mad at us. I'd always get moved to different tables. My favorite memory being in Passing Review and RTC this year and last year. You get to be, see everyone in uniforms, ready to march. And then afterwards, having a field day. You get to play tug of war with creating teams and play tug of war. And it, it was so like, it was rewarding because after this whole stress, after practicing with the 30 thrills, it was rewarding. I really liked it. For my specific favorite memory in high school, it's hard to recall. I, I've had a lot of good memories here, but I would say one of them would probably have to be in WBGI since the TV production program, which is WBGI, it correlates with everything and all the other clubs and the people that I've gotten to know. It was funny, you know, getting to interview some of you guys as seniors and just seeing your reactions to some things and just participating in the video and being able to edit that and watch that back, just meeting the new people surrounding that. I would say that was one of my favorite memories. My favorite memory was throwing a complete game against Niceville this year to beat them for our first time in 20 years. My favorite memory in high school was beating both threes my freshman year on the soccer team because that was just a very big accomplishment for us. Um, my favorite memory would be winning the state this year for cheer. There's honestly too many to choose from. I mean, um, ROTC does a military ball every year around February and I was voted queen this year so I was queen with my best friend who was king so that was kind of cool. My favorite memories from all of high school is just all the football games. Have a great time. <laughs> my favorite memory in high school was probably this year when we beat Pine Force in the playoffs. They beat us really bad. We got back in the playoffs. I would say scored a touchdown my junior year. Picking a rap for them, scoring the homecoming. That was a great memory. I think my school would probably be at school, would definitely be just the pep rallies and the football games, and just having fun with all my friends and being a spirit boy and like just really getting involved and everything. For soccer, just like playing in playoffs and everything, like the drives or travels, like bonding with my friends and coaches, and then just like winning playoff games, it's really fun experiences here at the school probably would be definitely like the pep rallies, the volleyball pep rallies for the girls, helping out with the, uh, the student section was a lot of fun, but I also really enjoyed the prom. The prom was a lot of fun. My first year here, I was, I was a junior, so I wasn't really here for the freshman or sophomore year at Choctaw, but being here for junior year and experiencing and going to that first football game 
it was really fun, really hype, and you definitely do have school spirit. It would probably be in critical thinking. I took it in 10th grade with Miss Ray, and I guess that whole class, really. That was probably my favorite class. I'd recommend it. It's because she would just put on just like, we just had games, and we'd just be playing, and everyone was just going back and forth. It just, it was just funny. Everyone was really funny. I actually fell one time. <laughs> We were marching, I actually fell <laughs> one time. It actually wasn't in Choctaw, it was actually in Crestview. I actually was marching backwards and accidentally <laughs> fell. <laughs> it, was rain, it rained right, right before and uh, I was marching backwards and I actually like slipped in a puddle. I fell but I got right back up and just continued with the show. <laughs> Many of my memories from high school was from band because that's like what I did, but it would probably have to be when old band director Mr. Parks fell off of um, that really high podium that used to be right behind the stadium of the guest side because of wasps. So it was it was a pretty funny experience to witness. I, I think everyone knows what my funniest moment was. 100% um, Mr. Mock. That, that was at least last year's Mr. Mock. I, I know we didn't have Mr. Mock for this year, but I think my best, funniest moment was definitely Mr. Mock. Um, everyone who participated was great, and there was a really good energy that night. We just went there, goof around, and it was just, it was, it was a fun time. My favorite teacher would probably be Miss Kasulo. Miss Kasulo. Miss Kasulo is also my favorite teacher. She's always nice, and always looks out for you, and she's a nice lady. She's taught me how to love our world and also how to apply what we learn into real life. And she's definitely just, she's been my favorite teacher teaching wise and just as a person to learn lessons from as well. She's been our teacher for the past two years and she just helps with everything and anything. Ms. Casilla would also be my favorite teacher. <laughs> she's just the best teacher and she's always there for you and it's always there to help you. She's taught me so much that I can apply to the real world. And she's uh, like really, it's hard to like, describe it, but like she just treats us how we should be treated. She doesn't treat us like children. She treats us like adults, like gives us a fair playing field. My two favorite teachers were definitely Ms. Casulo and Ms. Kessler. I had Ms. Casulo and Ms. Kessler for two years. Once my sophomore year for Ms. Kessler and now senior year. And then Ms. Casulo I had for junior and senior year. And she was also my cheer coach for one year. So I definitely grew a closer bond with Ms. Casulo. And I just love being with them so much. And my favorite coach was definitely Coach K because she came here halfway through my sophomore year and she's taught me so much and helped me grow as a person and just helped me throughout my true career and in life. Um, my favorite teacher was Mr. Mayo. He is the assistant band director um, because he actually like ex except for like other teachers he actually believes in me and actually like encourages me and gives me actually gives me like constructive criticism like he tells me to fix stuff I sound good on this my favorite teacher has got to be Miss Quintana. She's just really fun. I love Miss Smith. Miss Smith is my AP bio teacher and the coolest person I've ever met. She used to work in a morgue, which is awesome. <laughs> I would say the ROTC instructors. I can choose one of the three because they're honestly all like dads. It's kind of weird, but yeah, they're like father figures. I would say that my favorite teacher was Mr. Fusco. He was my AP U.S. History teacher, and not only was he a great teacher, he was a great life coach and taught me that good karma will always come your way, and I definitely believe that. My favorite teachers were Mr. Fusco and Mr. LeVictor. They both taught me so much about what I really wanted to do and kind of guided me, especially throughout this year with college, trying to find the right place for me. So I've just been super thankful for them for the past four years. Coach, probably would be Coach Johnson. Uh, four years he's been my coach, he taught me many life lessons. He taught me uh, to keep my head on straight even through bad times. And I say my favorite teacher probably gotta be Mr. Wells. Mr. Wells is, is the 
goat of teachers. You know, he'll he'll have your back through anything. You know, you've been you have been showing up, you've been late a few times. You know, it's all right. He will help you out no matter what you're going for. Favorite teacher, I would probably say Mr. Wells too. He always uh, kept us like right. You know, he understood our situations and stuff, and he always wanted us to like do good, be good. Um, he isn't a teacher anymore, but Mr. Lavigner was a really good teacher my freshman year. Probably Mr. Mayo, because he came to my school the same time I did. So I got to know somebody all four years, and like I didn't have to like switch up with many teachers. Like, when you change to a different year. So I got to understand him better and got to grow. I'd say my favorite teacher was Miss Roberts because um, for one, English was my favorite subject always, regardless when it came to school. And I used to always like uh, writing essays. And every time I went to her class, uh, each time we wrote an essay, uh, like each time I come out of that class just more confident about my skills in writing. I do like arguing, um, so being in that class made me feel better as like, I guess as a person more confident in my ability to do things and work with things. Yeah. If I had to split it, split it up into gap categories for, you know, just different things that I went to them with, um, of course, one of my favorite ones would be Ms. Graven, my WBGI teacher. And then before Ms. Graven, it was Ms. Demers, and she really taught me a lot about WBGI and how this entire class worked, so I'm grateful that she did that. Ms. Kessler, I, I worked with Ms. Kessler these past four years in class office, so getting to see her every day was nice. Mr. Hay was really an unsung hero. I cannot count, so he helped me figure a lot of things out in math class. Seeing Ms. Betts in the morning was really nice. Ms. Betts in the front office, I love her. Ms. Scaife as well, she works in guidance. And then Ms. Campbell was so wonderful and she allowed me to use her office throughout this entire year. We've had so many great conversations. So just this family at Choctaw, you know, that I've been able to speak with and meet different people, as I said before, has been a great experience. My favorite teacher, without a doubt, was Miss Campbell. The reason why is because I was her aide, and while aiding for her, we would have good talks about life lessons, um, future, future plans. And just, she was a really good life coach, and I enjoyed my time with her. I'm gonna miss like all my friends. I don't really have that many, but like, you know, it's more about the the quality than the quantity. I'm just gonna miss all my friends, especially my WBGI friends. They're really fun. Uh, honestly, just your friends that you grew up with your whole life. Whenever you go to college, everyone splits up to different colleges, and it's just nice being close to all your friends in your hometown. Not really missing anyone because I'm living with Julian. Yeah, um, we're gonna miss D, but That's it. we're gonna lose you. Uh, one thing high school I miss, obviously my friends. My friend, I mean a lot of good friends here, like in core, especially in cores, because everyone, everyone, everyone looks up to me in that class, and I really like the kind of the boost of confidence again in there. Where like outside of class, like I still get that same boost of confidence, but like with my, the girls in cores and and some of the other guys, like I feel like, I feel like a role model to them. So it's nice to feel. Inspire, I guess, to keep being the person I am. Every single friend, even people that like I never actually got to meet them as friends, because we rarely gonna see each other. There's gonna be a lot of people that we're gonna see each other here in high school that we're not gonna see anywhere else. Missing Angelique. <laughs> <laughs> Over me and WJ. So I definitely agree with what Cornelia said. I'm gonna miss all of my friends a lot. Uh, I think I'm also just going to miss the familiarity of Choctaw, like how familiar things are here. It's hard for me sometimes to start over, you know, because you get so used to doing one thing and the people that you're around. So it's just starting something completely new in a totally different city with people who you don't know, with a roommate who you don't know. It's just, it's a little bit different. It's a big change, but that's what makes it exciting. So it's just, yeah, I'm gonna miss the people 
year, but I'm, I also know that I'm going to make an effort to text my friends and try to keep, you know, everyone updated. You know, I'm just going to miss how familiar things are, but that's with everything in life, I would say. I'll miss just, I guess, the act of just coming to school and just being around friends as much because obviously if I go to work I'm gonna make friends there but like I, there's probably never gonna be like as big an environment with like just peers my age that I can just keep just talking to just back and forth so I'm just miss the social aspect of it where the people lie what they really want to know who's your lovers and who are your bros who are the enemies you don't keep close who are the people that you shouldn't know where the people lie what they really want to know who's your lovers and who are your bros who are the enemies you don't keep close who are the people that you shouldn't know she said love forgive them she said sin is a sin they do not know what they do they do not see the mission she said love forgive them she said sin is a sin they do not know what they do they do not see the mission Yes. It took me.
two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, I don't know, a month <laughs> to edit this. And it took a while to get senior, uh, seniors to interview. So freshmen, juniors, get interviews. I agree with him. I was director, but he edited and I went out to get the interviews. It was very difficult. So yeah, if you're a freshman starting to think about this in your video, do that ahead of time. <laughs> Sin sincerely, you're president for years. <laughs> Angelique <Right>. Patterson. <laughs> and end.